Hello, I'm Yan Lee Mongoy, and you are on the guest. At the time of women's emancipation and gender equality, Gabon, being officially recognized as a champion of the cause, cannot be left behind, especially in the entrepreneurial world. The country is therefore the launching pad for several dynamic women entrepreneurs, among these ladies who work every day for the economic, cultural, and social development of the country, is Madeleine Orlan Rengila, general manager and founder of Rengas Digital, an artist startup specializing in road transport security. Madam, welcome to guests. Good evening, Mr. Lee Mongo. It's an honor to be here, so thank you for the invitation. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. Okay, so we're going to go straight into our interview. Absolutely. First of all, can you tell us more about you? Who is Miss Orlan, Madeleine Orlan Rengila Ikana? So I like to describe myself as a woman. That makes me automatically a multidisciplinary person uh, because we know women are. And yeah. I like to say that's also that I'm an African entrepreneur who believes that uh, resilience can get you somewhere. So I'm one of the African entrepreneurs that uh, putting a stone on the wave of digital in Africa. Okay, so you are uh, involved in digital activities. Absolutely. That's, your main, that's the core of your activities. Absolutely. So can you tell us, what is Rengas Digital? Thank you for the question, Mr. Lei Mongoy. Rengas Digital is my first baby. I love to call it that way. Yeah. It's uh, a project that become a company that giving transparency to the distribution of driver licenses. Uh, we know that accidents are growing, the number of accidents actually in Gabon and in Africa are growing every, every year, except 2020 because of the COVID situation. Of in 2019, we had in Gabon about uh, more than 1,500 uh, something accident. And a year? A year, yeah. Actually, it was 2019, and we had 111 dead people. Wow. So we're not talking about one or two or three people, we're talking about 111. And uh, what I think, what my team and me are thinking about it is like, uh, we always accuse the government because we sometimes complain about the road, the condition of the road and other, other, other accusation. But I think it's also a part of the driver license traffic that's going on in the black market. So Rangis Digital is giving transparency to the distrib distribution of those driver license and other technical documents that are given by the Minister of Transport. So you're trying to put an end to the black market of driver licenses? Absolutely. So you think that with more and more people having licenses the right way, accidents will be like and low? Decreasing, decreasing, actually, absolutely. And we may be not uh, waking the, the, the subject, but it's a criminal act, actually, to buy a driver license. So I think it needs to stop. That's my opinion. Okay, so what is the solution exactly? How do you, your solution function? Because we can see Rangas Digital, which is a platform. So if I want to, to use your platform, okay. what have what I to do in order for me to get my driver license? Actually, it's a long process. Uh, the platform is connected to many different people. Yeah. So as I said before, it's giving transparency to the elaboration of the driver license to make sure that there's only one with that name and also making sure that the person uh, at the courses, at auto call, as they call it here, yeah. and also making sure, the most important part is making sure that the money, that the, the, the cash flow that's making on infraction is going where it's supposed to go, actually. So it's a um, big platform with many different branches that helping everybody to see exactly, uh, in real time, what's going on there and there. Okay, so now, in Gabon, we know you already as the CEO of Rangers Digital. Okay. What made you know to create? What made you now create Rangers for Africa? And what is Rangers for Africa? Actually, um, Rangers for Africa is a branch of Rangers Digital. How? Because we know that digital is giving answer to many problems we already have. So I decided with my team to open um, a cabinet, training cabinet, training center, to make understand people the digital world. Because we have young people that you can ask a question like, what is the QR code? They won't answer, they cannot say it. They won't yeah. say it's a QR code, the machine code. No, they won't say it because they don't know about it. So our school is giving um, courses in digital world and also in uh, English. So are you working in partnership with uh, institutions, the government or maybe business companies? For now, no. Actually, it's two entrepreneur Gabonese that put their effort together to give that, um, that uh, Ari, uh, Ari RFA, sorry, that rang is for Africa. It's me and Mr. Ndong, that is the DG of e -Trajet. Okay. 
Okay. So he's really uh, into the monetic, I mean, to, into the digital transformation. So we put our effort together to open that school. Okay, is it the first of its kind in Gabon, or maybe you have some people doing that already? Uh, English schools are everywhere, yeah. but uh, we're using a lot of digital, actually. The difference between us and the other is like we giving the courses to Mr. Lee Mangoy. Yeah. It won't be the same to Mr. George or to Mr. John. Okay. We're making sure that we're taking your hand and we're going through that together, talking about English and digital. Okay, that's amazing. Thank you. So now, let's come back to you as a person. Okay. How, how is it possible for you to manage your interpreter, interpreter life and your everyday life as a woman, because I guess you have a family. So do you think it is easy to combine both persons? Because I think we women uh, are managing as men are also doing, because I don't see any difference. We uh, put, um, there's 24 hours in a day. And we put our private life here, family life here, professional life here, and business life here. So I think it's a matter of discipline, actually, making discipline in your life and making sure that drama is not taking your time. Actually, I think drama is for people that having time for, time for that. So for sure, I don't cook every day. What do you mean day. by drama? Drama meaning that um, not important thing, because when you are into something, you go you for it. You have to be it. focused. Absolutely. Okay. You need to be focused on your business. You need to want it to succeed as much as you want to Do you to think breathe. it is a manly behavior? Because we know that the, the society says that men are driven by the, by the goal, and women are quite dispersed. Do you think it is a manly behavior to, to behave this way? I don't know what men actually made that sentence, but I think it's wrong. Um, I'm blessed to be in Gabon because I know that many women work for, the, for us to be equal. And I need to thank them, actually. I'm thanking the, the First Lady of, the, of Gabon, of the Prime Minister also, and the Minister of in charge of Parliament, because I know they're fighting a lot for that. So um, I think we are equal. I feel equal to a man. But exactly. I, know, I also know my place as a woman, as a mother also. As I say, um, it's a matter of discipline. I'm a mother, and I have my daughter and my niece at home, so when I get home, I need to be a mother and have time for them. So you switch. Absolutely. Exactly. So I, uh, I can assume that you've been through many challenges in your career. Can you pick the main, the biggest challenge you had to face in your whole career? What was that? I think all African entrepreneurs uh, meet that challenge because um, when you have an idea, it's your idea, so it's your baby. So you believe in it more than everybody and you need to make people understand it. That's the more difficult part. When people understand it and they live also your, let's say they live your dream with you, things are becoming easier because many different people can explain what you're talking about. So the most difficult part was to make people understand my project Talking about language digital, that was the more difficult part. And also to make sure that they, they hold your hands, you understand? There's also a fin financial part, because when you want to build something, you need money. Of course, but, financing. But when people understand it, they will, they will look for money for you. OK, I, I know that the government has to be a partner of your business. Okay. At what step of the progress of your business are you regarding to the cooperation with the government? Okay. Um, let's say that um, I, won a, I won a prize in 2018 because of this project talking about language digital. And I'm one of the finalists of the Apple Dove made in 2019. And actually, we're still waiting for the answer of that Apple Dove. So hoping that we will have an answer from the government soon. Okay. And I do deeply believe that we're going to have an, an answer soon. Maybe I didn't meet the right person right now. Uh, we maybe didn't believe that women can make it. But I'm sure we'll have an answer soon. Okay, uh, as being a woman entrepreneur, what can be your advice for women entrepreneurs? Not only Gabonese, because now we are here in Gabon, but okay. you can speak to a Ghanaian woman, South African. What is your advice for that young lady, young woman that wants to make it in okay. life? They need to understand that resilience uh, need to be your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner, actually, because we are in Africa and we are women. So we know that the fight is stronger, is bigger and harder. So you need to eat resilient every day. You need to be resilient every day and understand that you can make it. This is your baby. This is your project. Just go, go for it. You need to want to succeed as much as you need to breathe. That's my way of thinking. Okay. We've been speaking about Rangers for Africa. Okay. There is Africa in it. Yes. Do you, do you have a continental goal? Do you want to reach other countries like Cameroon, like Congo Brazzaville? Or what is the plan in five years for, or in 10 years in the future for Wengers for Africa and Wengers Digital? 
Rangis Digital is protected to OAPI, so it, uh, it's a continent project. I do believe that when it will be put in Gabon, because I do believe that it will be put in Gabon, we can send it to every other country. There's actually 16 countries in, in the OAPI protection. Mm -hmm. So yes, why not Gabon having something that they can sell to save life? Because I, I believe Rangis DJ is gonna save life because it can stop the uh, fake driver licenses traffic. Yeah. Okay, can you have a last word because we now reached the end of our, our show. Okay, um, it's, going to be, it's going to be the same. Um, women can make it as long as we feel that we're not in competition because as much, as soon as you think that, you're already lost. So make sure that you are not in competition with every, anybody and eat resilient morning, lunchtime and dinner. That's my goal. That's amazing. Well, thank you. I remind everybody that you are Miss Madeleine Wengila, General Manager and Founder of Wengus Digital and also Wengus for Africa. Thank you, Mr. Lenny. So thank you to all our viewers. You have been on the guest. And you can still follow us on our social networks down the screen, Facebook, YouTube, and also on WhatsApp. See you soon. Goodbye.